You're very welcome back now, having been announced as the presenter on Today FM's much-coveted lunchtime show earlier this week. Our next guest is no stranger to the limelight. Also an anchor on TV3's 6 o'clock show, she's been covering everything from chats about wildlife to interviewing the stars. It's one of the hardest-working women in showbiz. We're in O'Connell, you're very welcome. Hello, 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 Hi, hello. We're hello. In. You were it's a funny for you, there. yeah, to be, be on the there. other side. So strange, is like, it? so unbelievably strange. Will we swap seats? Go helps. on, let's go. No, we won't. It'll be <laughs> fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. I know. Stop. Stop. Four managers go, no! Don't do it. Last night in the show, we had uh, Charlotte Bradley got up. She was leaving early. She oh, got up. She was couch. about ready to go. We were like, no, 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 we've got an ad break. You can go then. Don't you can move. go then. Don't move. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little bit strange, you know, but... Uh, and it's all just got fine. a bit, not stranger, but it's the wrong word, but busier for you. Because yeah. not only now you're the six o'clock show, You've given up your lunch times now as well. I have, yeah, but I suppose I've kind of been doing a lot of cover stuff on yeah. Today FM for a couple of years now. Yeah. So there was always times that I was working and now it's just definitive and I can kind of give up working at the weekends, which Radio is seems brilliant. to be a love of yours though. I mean, starting you started in Phantom, wasn't it? Oh no, God, I started in Live 95 in Limerick years wow. ago. Okay. Yeah, and then Spin South West and then Phantom and then... Love 90, yeah, so it's been like 12 years bouncing around radio station. And do you feel, as you say, you've done all the cover work, you've done yeah. your, your stint, you've done your training, this is your time now to own a show, to own a slot. Oh, I'm still shocked. I still Are you don't still think, shocked? I still don't think it's, I think they're going to say on Monday, it was all a joke. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Go on away. It was great crack. It was great crack. We'll keep you for another few weeks and yeah. then we'll call you when we need you. All right. That's yeah. grand. Yeah. No, Which, it's, of course, they're not going to do. It's real. It's really surreal. It's just really surreal. And, and is I'm this delighted. a show that you will put your own stamp on now and we're in? I would like to think so. Yeah, yeah we've got. Uh, lots I think today FM are very good at doing that, though, aren't they? In they terms are, of handing over. Uh, how, yeah, how how you approach that now? You sit down with producers before you kick off and thinking. Yeah. Here's things that I'd like to do, ideas that I'd like to do, topics I'd like to cover. Yeah. Mm. Stuff I wouldn't like to talk about because it doesn't mm. interest me. Is that the kind of way it goes? It's sort of. So <clears> I'm working with uh, Pam and Lenny, who have been there for such a yeah. long. They're brilliant. They're unbelievable. Working with the team, you know yourselves. Yeah. People that you trust, people that you love, people that you want to have fun with. And so we're kind of sitting there. Now, I'm working the whole way up until the new show starts anyway. So we've kind yeah. of started doing bits and pieces as to right. what we want the show to be. And, you know, it's at your lunchtime. I'm not going to be going into the referendums. You know, no, it's, no. it's not going to be that sort of a show. We've got Matt Cooper there to do all of that and get it all sorted yeah. for us in the afternoon. So it's just going to be a bit of crack and hopefully just playing great tunes all of the time. All right, give, give us, um, are you an 80s child? Would you be an 80s music fan? I'd be more 90s, early noughties, you know, a lot of Missy Elliott, but right. always Wilson Phillips, hold on. I would pay that for two Wilson hours. I would Phillips, pay that for two hours on. straight up. Holy Maybe a bit of Patrick moly. Swayze. She's the, like is a that the song yeah. that they end Bridesmaids on? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is a bit of a classic. It's a brilliant tune. I'll, I'll give Swayze. you that. That's a tune. You hear that yeah. at two o'clock in the morning, the Anna. Floor. You're on the dance floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And she's like the winds, the old slow set to that. I mean... Will you, you, know, will you dance yeah. with me, mate? Yeah, <laughs> will you? Ray wants to dance with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on, Ch sneaky shift. Now, you've three. also Great had um, plenty of fun, and it continues on the Six Club show on TV3. It is. I'm having so much fun there because there were such big shoes to fill with Lucy Kennedy. Yeah. She's such a legend. She's been brilliant to me. She's always there at the end of the phone if I ever want to chat to her about anything and I'm just, she went off to do her living with everyone in the entire world and now yes. she's got, got talent coming up, which I'm really looking forward to. But she was brilliant kind of on the handover because I started back in May doing it full time because I've been doing it on Friday nights with Ray Foley for, for a yeah. good long while. And then we started back in May and Lucy was phenomenal. She's just and been so supportive. And that just so means so much, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. when someone's there to answer all the silly questions. Exactly. Just things you're not expecting that you won't know that's going to be going on. She's been fantastic. And then having Martin there the whole time, he's just well, Martin, a pro. Martin is one of the nicest men in the business. We all know that. Tell me something that annoys you, annoys you about the police. He, he, he doesn't well, age. He's got to have one bad He habit. doesn't age. No, he's still, in fairness, he still looks, yeah, he does. He's got he does, yeah. a Dorian Gray picture up in his attic. <laughs> I am convinced yeah, yeah. the man does not age. Either that or a brilliant makeup artist. Something, it could be. No, because he comes in without his makeup on from where, and you're just like, you just look amazing all the time. What is that? Why, why is it That's that he doesn't... a lovely compliment, isn't it? Do you not think... You'd never say that about me, would you? I would say that about you once you not weren't for, here. Not for <laughs> that. Not for that. I say a lot of nice things about you and you're not around. Just Absolutely. FYI, Absolutely. Absolutely. haven't I, Warren? Well, all the time, because we've managed to get Anna on the six o'clock show, and you've been very good, and we love having you on. I'm Thank hoping you. you're going to yeah. come on again. Yes, love uh, to. You've been on the six o'clock show, haven't you? I have, yeah, several yeah. times. Well, yeah, Simon, yeah. I was—I just thought I might take this opportunity to say, are you going to come on soon? You've got a book. Tell you what, I'll come on and cook for you. How about that? 
Yes. Can I take that as read right now? <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, we'll discuss, we'll discuss the minutiae he, he later He said on. it now. Has everyone heard him say that? Have, yeah, have, have your people talked to his You've people? Said so what way is your day going to work now? Because you're basically going to be working all day into, up to seven, eight o'clock at night now. It's not more than most people. Like, if, if you kind of no, think about that, it, especially with people jobs. with commutes. It's... Yeah, but like, you know, going to work for half, nine, ten, and then the show's over, t- it'll be over at two, so we've changed the time slot from half two to two. And um, I'll be over then, do a bit of work, uh, leave the Today FM office at three and then come out to TV3. And it's fine and fit in all the stuff you have to do around it. And to be honest, I'm having so much fun on the six o'clock show. That's one thing that Lucy kind of said to me, you're going to have a ball. Yeah. Because you know yourself, yeah. the people that you meet, crack. Are, yeah, yeah. they're the people and who it make it. And a bit of crack. It's you know, so It's a magazine style fun. show yeah. with lots of different topics. And there's also yeah. a connection here, by the way. Do you know that... that Oh, go on. Um, that the lovely Wiren used to live with and share a house with. Yes, Patrick Ryan. Yes, I used to. Mm. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, now, and we're hoping he won't, mm. but neither of us ever expected see, that our ugly mugs would make it onto the television, <laughs> I can tell you that much. Well, you see, you thought that we didn't know that fact, but in fact, I knew that a week ago, and I rang Patrick and asked him. Oh, did you, yeah? No, so I didn't. We no, have no you job. didn't. There's not <laughs> open hell. I'm looking at him going, don't you try. He's got stories. I've got stories Mer, as well. Can I, can I ask you a question um, on behalf of so many women? women, female, female viewers out there watching this morning, you've been very upfront about the, the question that's often asked by journalists and the press around family. Yeah. And are you not in a hurry to have the family? We were only having it with our own floor manager earlier on this morning. Um, and you've been very upfront about that. Um, I've kind of never wanted children, like as in I don't have that feeling inside sure. me. I adore children. I love yeah. babysitting, love all my nephews and nieces and my friends, kids. Uh, love spending time with them. Brilliant. Uh, was so upset when my brother and his daughter went back to Madrid after Christmas. Um, but I don't feel, I, I don't, I've never felt like I've wanted to have children. And I think since I've gotten into my 30s, especially now I'm 34 years old, people will sit you down. They're like, oh, now, oh, won't be, won't be long now. Do you, do, long do you now. get the, but you'll change your mind? Mm-hmm. All the time. Yeah. And so much so I got it yesterday. Oh, but you'll change your mind. From someone who really? doesn't have kids, oh, you'll change your mind, you'll change your mind. And I was like, no, I don't think so. But it's gotten to the stage where people will now sit me down. And it's like, you know, you could be in the middle of the Crescent Shopping Centre in Limerick and they'll bring out a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> about how I'll change my mind <laughs> and why I should and change my mind happen. and why yeah, it's so great. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They have it all there ready to go but I just I don't think I adore kids and I but I just don't think it's and for me per- you're and perfectly entitled to say that though and people do you feel you shouldn't necessarily be trying to change your mind if that's your opinion and your stance I think that there's more and more certainly amongst my group of friends there is a lot of people who have kids and there's a lot of people who don't want yeah. children yeah. they're kind of like listen there's enough kids in the world I don't know how I honestly don't know how you do it I yeah. bow down to every parent in this world. But a little, that can I'll, get I'll done. tell you how, because we haven't a clue either. You don't know what's going <laughs> no, on. We're just swinging it. Wine. Listen, thank you, for, <laughs> giving, wine thank you helps. for giving up your Saturday morning uh, to come in and say hello. Thanks, um, very Continued much. success with the six o'clock show. Thanks, very well. Best of luck with Today FM. When does the official for Today for FM it. show start? It is all kicking off on the 22nd, Monday, the 22nd of January. We'll be there. Okay, we'll be 12 o'clock. Starting it. Brilliant. Thank you, Lucy. Good to see you. We'll bring you in with cameras.